Hello, it's the Mighty Marvel Show, and I'm Paul, and we're finishing up the San Diego Comic Con 2020 final action figure reviews. And just when I thought we were done with the Marvel Legends after having that sweet panel on day two, we got some final drops on the Sunday. So I'm going to very quickly take a look at them because I'm pretty impressed. I'm going to start with what I think is an incredible looking figure. It is She-Hulk, fresh from the upcoming Disney Plus series, which starts on the 17th of August. That's my birthday, by the way, but don't worry about it. That's I'm sure that's not why they're putting it out. It's just a coincidence. But thanks, Marvel. Thanks, Kevin Feige. Anyway, She-Hulk is dropping 17th of August. We've got our first look at the She-Hulk figure, and I'll tell you what, it is glorious. I just love it. I think the costume, the look and feel, the colour scheme of her skin, it's incredible. Pinless joints, double elbows, double knees. I think it looks slick. And I've got to say, these head sculpts are getting fantastic. There's another one I'll talk about in a minute, which I think is incredible. But this one, Tatiana Maslany, looks amazing. I'm really, really, really impressed with this figure. I think that costume is great. It's that throwback to what we've seen from the Dan Slot series back in the comic book in the day. And we're going to see her wearing it in the series. I think it looks amazing. Excellent. I'm so impressed with this figure. I will absolutely be diving in and getting that figure. One of the better MCU figures. I think if the if it looks anything like these these images do. And then we got a real look at some Marvel uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe figures for Black Panther Wakanda Forever. That trailer looked awesome. As desperately sad as it is to not see Chadwick Boseman in there. The trailer looked fantastic. We got a really good look at Namor, the Submariner, and that comic accurate costume of his. And Daniel dropped on Twitter, then on the Hasbro Pulse site, he dropped some images of a few of the figures. You've got the Namor figure, you've got uh, Okoye, and you've got Nakia, and you've got Shuri in the background, you can see, and there's a fantastic Elliot Ross, which that other face sculpt looks just like Martin Freeman. It looks excellent. So really impressed with that. What we also got to look at is this builder figure for Atuma. Now, I'm a massive fan of the Atuma look in the comics. I think this one is very different than what we've got on screen in the MCU. And we expect that. We see that quite a lot. We see different. I think it looks great. The figure looks really, really cool. I'm not too sure I'm going to be getting that. Because I don't think I'll be getting enough of that wave to want that builder figure. It's not a hot pick for me. I think it's a great looking figure. And actually, I love the Nakia figure as well. And the Aquaria. I think that also they look really good as well. I see what else comes out in the wave. Um, but that is a little look at those figures there. So they are pre-ordered and they are dropping tomorrow on Hasbro Pulse. So you can get involved in those straight away. So out of these final little figures that we saw, it's the She-Hulk that is an absolute win for me out of these figures. The Black Panther ones do look cool though. I'm sure in hand they're going to look great. But I'm super excited about that She-Hulk figure. So I thought I'd take a little look at those today. And just get those out there for you to have a look at. As always, what do you think? Let me know. Drop it down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these. What are you getting? What are you excited by? What did you think of the trailers we saw for these um, these uh, MCU installments as well? Let me know. And of course, like and subscribe. We're there as well. It'd be very much appreciated. Thank you very much. I'm out of here. Hope you had a fantastic SDCC 2022 if you went. See you on another video. Bye for now. Bye.